we're now going to begin our chapter on alkynes. And as you know, the alkyne functional group is when you have a carbon-carbon triple bond in a molecule. And we're going to look a little bit at the structure. And here I have a couple of examples. But one of the first things that I want you to notice is the difference between the two alkynes that are drawn here. In this first one, you'll notice that we have the triple bond and connected to each end of the triple bond, we have a carbon. There's a carbon here and a carbon here. That means this triple bond is on the inside of the chain and we call that an internal alkyne. In the second molecule, we have a carbon on one side, right here, but on the other side, even though it's not drawn in, we have a hydrogen. And if you want to draw it in, you can. The hydrogen is attached right here. Because there's a hydrogen on one side, that means this triple bond is at the end of the chain. So it's called a terminal alkyne. The next thing you should notice is how at the alkyne, everything is drawn in a linear fashion. So the carbon coming off of each carbon of the alkyne is drawn linearly. And the reason for that is something you really already know. You know that the carbons that are part of the triple bond are sp hybridized. And something that is sp hybridized is linear, which means it has a 180 degree bond angle. So that's why we draw this alkyne in a linear fashion. In this case, we have in the chain one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. And, you know, it's not completely wrong if you were to draw it like this and put the triple bond in the middle. But I really would prefer you avoid this because it doesn't show the correct linear geometry. In terms of unsaturations, the alkyne has two pi bonds, so that counts for two unsaturations. Each pi bond is an unsaturation. In terms of bond strength, we're going to look at something kind of interesting here. If you compare an alkyne and an alkene, we learned at the start of the semester that triple bonds are stronger than double bonds. And the bond strength is about 200 kcals per mole for a triple bond versus 152 kcals per mole for a double bond. This larger number means that overall the triple bond is stronger than the double bond, but that's as a whole considering all three bonds and breaking them. But if you're just looking at one pi bond in each, Meaning, instead of breaking all of the bonds in the molecule, if we were to just break one pi bond here versus one pi bond here, the energy it takes for that is approximately 46 kcals per mole for the pi bond of the alkyne and 67 kcals per mole for the pi bond of the alkene. So a smaller number here means it's actually easier to break the first bond of the alkyne than it is the alkene. So it's a difference in breaking all three bonds versus just one bond. Why is this important? Well, that tells us under similar conditions, the alkyne pi bond is more reactive than the alkene pi bond. And as we start to get into reactions, that's going to be increasingly important to be aware of.